Without a doubt, it's really important to make a feature of the entrance of a home. And this is one of the surprise packets of this renovation. Little did I know that we had all of this space above us. And when I came to site one day, Tyson the builder and Steve the architect were here and they were so excited and they said, Kate, look what we've found above. And so all of a sudden our whole plans changed and we ripped open the whole ceiling and created this beautiful void of an entrance. One of the things that Kate was really interested in doing was um, she's always interested in, in creating something that's got a wow factor. Um, and we've got the opportunity with this job to um, remove some of the some of the the building in the entry to give it a really high sense of proportion um, and to actually make more of it than, than what was there already. So um, we're taking away things to produce a good a good outcome. Renovations, modifications, um, pretty much in every room. Um, we're using some new products going through it with the flooring, um, hopefully outside with the new roof, um, bag and painting all the external brickwork. So when it's finished, it will look a hell of a lot different to what it will now, and have a real wow factor. So to match with the entrance, we added this gorgeous custom door that we had made by 3D doors and windows and coupled with that really strong door hardware I think it's important to have something solid and something really gutsy and because everything here we wanted it to be sort of old but new Jay from Domino um, Architectural Fittings made us this custom finish in an aged bronze and I couldn't be happier with it. Modern farmhouse, a bit different to what I've normally done yes. before, um, but I'm really looking forward to pushing the boundaries on the aesthetic. And you know, we're going to the expense of changing all of the doors in this house. And so for me, the door is not just about how high it is or what the profile is, um, it's about the jewellery that goes on it. Absolutely, absolutely. It's got to be functional hardware that's going to last, mm -hmm. that's going to be able to um, withstand children uh, and things like that, but it's also got to be beautiful yeah. um, and complement everything else that's going on in the house, mm. like the different fabrics you'll use, mm. the carpets and so on and so forth. Yeah. So we don't want it too tizzy. No. We want something simple and elegant, yeah. timeless, um, straight but with a little bit of something in it just yep. to just to give it that contemporary feel. And you don't realise, I think, well a lot of people don't realise how often you touch a door handle. Every day. So it needs to be, and like 20, 30 times a day. So Absolutely. it needs to really work and that's Absolutely. what I love about these mechanisms that you've got. Absolutely. Everything is solid so it's, it's going to outlive all of us. <laughs> so you won't have any problems there. Tell me I'm allowed to use this one. Well, I thought that would be beautiful for your front door. Yes. With the handle down below, mm -hmm. we're going to have some locks up here. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought that would be lovely. And I know that you want to do a really smashing front door. Yes. Well, actually, we've just um, looked at the front door. And because it's looking out to a view, we've made a lot of it glazed. Beautiful. So I think, you know, you're going to have the two side lights. Yep. Which go down to the ground with a panel at the bottom. And then the front door has um, three sets of panels and it comes down to sort of almost mid-thigh height. Okay. So I don't think that unfortunately... Not these guys. No, and whilst I adore them and I specify them a lot, um, I can't fit it on this. So we, I, I think we're going to be more beautiful. So let's do less is more. 